It's okay. I'm a video master. Okay, and we're, t and, uh, and we're talking about something that uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were waiting to hear what we were going to say about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, since the trailer just came out today, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, so, what did you think of the trailer? What did you think of the trailer? What did you think of the trailer? So we're getting ahead of the game, and we're actually recording our thoughts on the trailer before you guys start bombarding us with questions. And here's how it's going to work. Suki's going to go first, then I'm going to go. Suki? Okay, so, Equestria Girls, the trailer for the movie. Uh, the book was better. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, okay, so... Yeah, I, before this, before finding out this trailer was out, I'm sure, like, well, you know, I'm not, maybe not, like, all the people that have actually put opinions out there, but, you know, I wasn't, you know, that, I wasn't, you know, being that positive towards it. I was, I was, you know, pretty much just completely dismissing it off, just going, like, you know, whatever, it's going to be a spinoff, I don't have to care about it. So then the trailer comes out, and I'm like, okay, I'll give this a look. And after the trailer... I'm actually kind of looking forward to going to see this. I, I mean, honestly, it, it just, I mean, once again, it just, it just sort. Of, I don't know how to how to really say this, but I mean, it kind of, it kind of reminds me of just a, I not really, I can't really say a standard like just girls' property, I guess. But at the very least, you know, at the at the very least, it, uh, it seem it seems like it's not gonna be uh, to me at least. It doesn't seem like I'm just gonna sit there. Like watching this and like want to, I was about to say tear my hair out and I just realized <laughs> <laughs> uh, tear the stubble out. Just go, eh, 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 eh. Uh, but it's pretty much not gonna want to like hit a frying pan against your face or something. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, basically it, it doesn't look like it's gonna be like you know mind-numbingly bad. Yeah, it looks it it looks like there's actually some su it looks like there might actually be some substance to this. I'll add my opinions when it gets to my turn. Yeah, but um, uh, the book is better. <laughs> I mean, should the designs? I'll admit I'm still not a big fan of the character designs, but that's once again personal opinion. Uh, as far as animation goes, it looks like you know once again we're getting. We're, I mean, even with the designs, it looks like we're still getting fairly good animation with this. Yeah. So I mean, that's nothing to complain about. Uh, I mean, we're still getting the same characters; they're just humans now. Uh, uh, well, you know, and and a dog. <laughs> I'll admit it's a it's a bit it, it's it is kind of it is kind of messed up that Spike is a dog. Yeah, but it's apparently like their other world counterparts, not them themselves. Yeah, it, it, we'll fig yeah we'll figure out how that works. Yeah, it kind of sucks because I would have I would have you know personally I would have liked it to have been you know like Twilight's little brother sort of thing because that's the way he comes off as really in 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 the main show is that he's sort of like a little brother yeah. to her. So it, you know, that's why that's the only reason it really bothers me. Um, we don't know whether or not he's going to be able to talk yet. I'm thinking he does, just because of the fact that, like, you, you, in the trailer, you see both him and Twilight go through the mirror. Because, like, when, yeah, when she's spinning around there, you see you see Spike too. Huh. Or at least I I thought it I thought I did. I'll rewatch it again after after this. Yeah, I don't remember seeing. Yeah, Spike I'll, I'll rewatch it again and and I'll you know I'll put up a text thing right here that says you know whether or not I that was I was right there. But I swear I saw it, so I thought that like he went through with her and basically and was now co and was conscious of where he was, so he could so he could like actually talk or something like that. Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, I do like the fact that you know it's not just it's not like they just said okay here's the six you know as humans and that's it we're just gonna you know do our do another world. It is the it is the same characters like they should because like, you see Final Scratch in the trailer. You see the CMCs in the trailer. Snips and snails. Snips and snails are there. Carrot top. Is she there? Yeah, I saw Carrot top. Okay. Uh, you know, we get we get the introduction of a new of a new antagonist. Uh, I don't think we got a name for her. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the Sunset Simmer. Ah, uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, her. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Which means that who knows? She might. You know, her pony might show up at the very beginning. Yeah. Of <laughs> of the movie, and thus you know, in, to get to the other side. You there know she what is. would be neat. Is if at the very end she goes back to Equestria, and she comes through and becomes a pony. That that could yeah that could work. See, I'll get more into what I'm thinking when it comes to my turn. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. Otherwise, uh, let me see here. Um. Uh, oh God, I just realized it's gonna be interesting to see Cheerly. 
Okay. Actually, being a teacher, <laughs> probably being a teacher on that side. That oh, and cool. right, and I know some people are going to be like, but it looks like they're, you know, they're doing the whole. They're actually put, trying to give Twilight a relationship thing. Whatever. It's whatever. It's a movie. It's the spinoff movie. If if this if whatever happens here, if like if the rumors of a spinoff series happens, it's going to affect the spinoff series, not the main show. It would be funny if it turns out that's the uh, counterpart for Shining Armor, and it's a brother-sister relationship. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Everybody's like, oh, they're going to get together. Wait, what? Actually, it was funny, because somebody somebody online already tried to say, they're like, oh, come on, you guys, it's Soren. I'm like, no, it's not. You want to know why it's not Soren? And that somebody else pointed this out. In case you didn't notice, they're kind of matching like skin tone to like yeah. their. There's also a reason why it's not shining armor, though. <laughs> yeah, and and so and so basically that person got shot down immediately. But uh, there actually is one background pony that people are kind of are thinking that he actually is, and it is like uh, you remember the episode the, uh, in um, last roundup the 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 stallion that Twilight was standing next to, or uh, like he was like he had like the green he was like. He was like, like kind of yellowish with green with the green mane or whatever they call him Comet Tail. No. Huh. Well, I don't remember that one. Oh well. Yeah, it, it, he he has been you know they have Twilight has been put next to him, but you know not like he was she was actually with him or anything. But yeah. people instantly started shipping them because of that. No, yeah, it's possible. And you know it could be it could be that that same that same stallion, but yeah. anything anything else you got to say? Uh, that's. There's what? actual magic. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing is that it looks like there's actual magic, and they're actually having to deal with the elements of harmony, or something. Something similar. They're dealing with something. We just don't know what. All right. So I guess you can go. You can go on ahead. Okay. So the anim- that's all, folks. Hey. <laughs> okay. So the animation. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird that they've got the different skin tone colors, but whatever. You oh, that's one of the things I meant to say. You, Does that, I, you know, at least with the different skin tones, like the, when we saw the, the designs of the characters, everybody was like, "So nobody questions that these like that these blue skin and you know, yeah, everybody, everybody like, has it." Yeah, look, it's a, it's the entire world. So at least they at least they've thrown at least they've been able to go like, "Okay, here's your answer to that. Shut up on that." <laughs> they, yeah, that's like one of those things. Like, why, why though? Why did they have to have skin colors? They couldn't. Why exactly? <laughs> it's. I mean, this is literally j- just a Monster Girls clone, and that's like the only reason I see to the skin colors. Like, well, Monster Girls have different. Monster skin. High. Monster High. Oh, sorry. It's funny that the, the funny somebody I talked to after watching the trailer said the same thing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. But yeah, it's like the Monster High girls, they have different skin tones, so we'll have ours have different skin colors. That, that literally seems like the only reasoning behind that. That's the only reason this exists. Don't try to tell me otherwise. But, yeah. okay. It looks interesting. It's interesting enough that I am going to watch it. It gives me a Winx, uh, yeah, Winx Club? Yeah. yeah. It gives me a Winx Club vibe, which I did watch a little bit of when it first started coming out. And then, it, then I lost the channel that Winx Club came on. But, uh, pretty much, here's my main complaint. There is absolutely no reason for this to be Pony. I know why it's Pony, because it makes more sense in a financial thing to, uh, use an existing IP to do this, to try to gain a bigger, you know, viewer base and everything, and make more money. It's, it's just like, you know, new video game IPs, have the same problem. You have to really push them in order for them to be successful. And that's why Hasbro's just doing this pony thing. They're doing the whole thing so it's like, okay, well we will maybe we can grab some of the fame of the ponies and we can put it into this. Problem is that just really kind of bugs me. It doesn't annoy me, it doesn't piss me off. It just bugs me. It's like there's no point, there's no reason. It really just should have been its own IP. And I'd rather it w- was its own IP than trying to do this pony thing. We should have gotten a Galaxy Girls movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we should have just gotten freaking Galaxy Girls. Yeah. That would have been awesome. But no, Actually, you know, I mean, just over, I, think every, I think everybody who's got, who got into ponies and, you know, was, you know, who, who was following Lauren Faust just once 
Galaxy Girls. Everybody, like, everybody yeah. that follows her, everybody that watches, like, most everybody of Everybody who's watching wants Lauren Foss back on the show. Yeah, but, you know, every, everybody's looked at her, at her project, Galaxy Girls, and everybody goes, Hey, this looks like a really cool idea. Why is nobody picking this up? I'm honestly surprised that's not what Fighting His Magic did. I'm surprised they didn't just say, hey, want us uh, to make a Galaxy Girls fighting game? Uh, except Lauren, F I think she's she's making original characters. People are people are trying to say that you know she's gonna do it's just gonna yeah. be Galaxy Girls, but I don't th I don't think so. I think she wants. Well, no, it's not gonna be Galaxy Girls. So they've already released like oh. a, the Llama. Oh, and that's right, that's right. Crap. Yeah. Which uh, yeah, real quick, fighting his magic. I kind of lost interest when the Pegasus and unicorns and stuff went out. Show me. Just unicorns and pigs and stuff, and I'll be interested in it again. It doesn't have to be Twilight and them, but... Back to uh, Equestrian Girls. Yeah, it's just... Really, the only thing that bugs me is the fact that it shouldn't have... It really shouldn't have anything to do with ponies. It really shouldn't, but it does. And I'm not going to sit here and get all bent out of shape over it. I'm just like, whatever. I'm going to watch it. As long as it does remain a spin-off. If anybody in Hasbro suddenly goes brain dead and decides, no, this is going to be the official thing of what happens to ponies. Well, it's going to piss me and a bunch of people off. Thankfully, let's hope... I don't think the writers would let them do that, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. But... I mean, uh, I, mean I get the feeling that this is... That, that this was... Pr that when this was pitched, if it was... It, it was either going to go spin-off or this was just a one-shot idea that, some, that, you know, somebody on the staff had. That they were just like, you know, that maybe it was an idea that somebody pitched a while back and everybody was like, we can't do that. And then, you know, the popularity got out there and, Has and Hasbro wanted to do something and th they finally said, yeah. said, fine, we'll tap this. In my personal opinion, though, is that Hasbro said, okay, Monster Girls is doing good, let's do this, uh, make it happen, write us a story. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But Probably, but, yeah. I, I mean, we could dream. Uh, but we're, I guess, the, really, we've said all that we can about it. Uh, Suki and I are going to see if it plays in any of the theaters around us, and we're going to go see it. Uh, uh, I think it also depends on how much, because I'm, I'm sorry, but yeah. if they try to charge, they try to, if, depending on the ticket price, if they try to charge a certain amount, it'd be like, really? And I suppose if they're trying to charge you like fifteen dollars or something, yeah, it'd be like, no. it's yeah, it's going to, it's going to depend. I think the theater that we went and saw, like, so, I think if it's like the same one that we saw, like Trigun, Trigun Badlands Rubble at. I mean, the price of there wasn't that bad, wasn't bad, so... Yeah, that would be a place... That would probably be the place it would end up happening. If probably. Okay, we'll see what happens for that. I mean, if it's... If it airs on the hub, and it's at a good time, we might stream it. Uh, that is really not much else we can say. We will watch it. We will give our opinions. We'll most likely do a Let's Watch of it. But we'll see all of that when it comes out, and, uh... I'm just really looking forward to season four and hoping. Uh, oh, and that actually brings me back to what I was talking about earlier. What I think would be really awesome if Equestrian Girls did is like I was talking about how if Sunset Shimmer came to Equestria, if all Equestria Girls was was something that happened before season four and then Twilight goes back and it's just pony again, I actually think that would be a really cool thing. She just goes off on this adventure, and they don't even really, they don't ever have to mention it in the show. And she just comes back to Equestria, and there it is. And if, such a, if Sunset Shimmer came in and became a pony and continued to try to fight Twilight, I think that would actually be a really neat idea. Just have it go back to pony. Yeah. And the, the Equestria Girls thing could be the Equestria Girls thing, but... Okay. I don't know what they're going to do. We'll obviously see when it comes out. Alright, so... Alright, so that's uh, everything for this one, and uh, wh like we said, when it, when it comes out, we'll you'll see what happens when it when it does, and what our opinions will be of it, and like what we'll do from there. Yep. So uh, until until next time, we'll see you guys.